puts a smile on every face. What gives the seaside style? What is the jolly day holiday place? So it sticks out half a mile. Yes, the pier sticks out half a mile into the sea. There's something there for everyone. It's 31,680 inches of fun. Where can you walk right out to sea with dry feet all the while? What is the jolliest place to be? Oh, wouldn't you love to come with me? I'll say no more, cause obviously it sticks out half a mile. It sticks out half a mile. A seaside saga of pure perpetuation, starring Arthur Lowe as Captain Mannering and John LeMessurier as Arthur Wilson. <laughs> the time, 1948. The place, Swallows Bank, Frambourne, somewhere on the south coast. Come in. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. Good morning, Miss Baines. Is that the mail? Yes, sir. And a list of your appointments for this morning. Hello. Why, why is this letter still unopened? Well, it's special. Oh, you mean special delivery? Uh, no, no, just special. It's to you, sir, for me. A little card. Oh, really? Well, it's not my birthday. Oh, I know. That's in April. Uh, um, uh, or rather, I think it is. Oh, how nice. Oh, yes. An old sailing ship. Frigate. <laughs> oh, yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> yes, yes. I still don't understand, though. I I've written on the inside. Oh, yes, so you have. Happy anniversary. Oh, yes, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. What anniversary? Well, yours, sir. Exactly a year ago today, you arrived at Frambourne to take over as manager of this branch of Swallow's Bank. Good Lord, was it a year ago? <laughs> How's he remembering that? Oh, I do, sir. You see, it's been absolutely marvellous since you took over. I really enjoy coming to work. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs> now, the, uh, these appointments, uh, Mr. Harris was coming in first this morning, wasn't he? Well, he was, sir, but he rang on Friday and said he wouldn't be able to make it after all. Does that mean I don't have a first appointment this morning? Uh, oh, no, sir. After Mr. Mm -hmm. Harris cancelled, yeah. another gentleman phoned and said he wanted to see you, so I put him in instead. I see. Uh, I think he was arriving as I came in to see you. Mm -hmm. So, shall I send him in? Yes, please. Uh, very good, sir. His name's Mannering. Thank you, Miss Burns. Just a minute. Did you say Mannering? Yes, sir. It can't be. Oh, it is, sir. He spelt it out when he rang up. Good Lord. Are you all right, Mr. Wilson? You've gone quite pale. Your collar's not too starched, is it? No, 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 my collar's fine. <laughs> fine, it's perfectly all right, thank you. Uh, look, Miss Baines, would you do me a favour? Oh, yes, Mr. Wilson. Oh, you only have to ask. Well, uh, would you, uh, would you just open my door a touch... Have a look at this, Mr. Mannering, and describe him to me. Well, yes. All right, Mr. Wilson. Well, I'd say he's about... Oh, sorry. He's about 55 to 60. Yes, go on. Shortish, balding. By Jove, it could be. Pardon? Oh, nothing, nothing. Go on. A bit tubby. Anything else? Well, he looks sort of pompous. It's him. <laughs> I think you know him, Mr. Wilson. Well, there's just a chance. Anyway, you, you better show him in, but don't say anything to him. Show him in, but don't mm -hmm. say anything to him. Right, sir. Um, excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. Mannering? No. I'm Captain Mannering. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Captain Mannering. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, sir, Mr. Wilson will see you now. Thank you. Just a minute. Did you say Wilson? Yes, sir, that's right. Not Arthur Wilson, by any chance? Oh, his first name is Arthur, yes. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, it can't be. Oh, it is, sir, Arthur Wilson. This is a matter of interest. What does your uh, Mr. Wilson look like? Oh, well, he's tall, slim, about 50. Hmm. 
Could be. <laughs> Tell me, is he always daydreaming? How do you mean, sir? Well, is he rather vague, you know? Sort of, sort of dozy. Oh, no, sir. Mr. Wilson's very bright. Oh, no, no. Can't be the same one. <laughs> All right, miss, lead on. Yes, sir. Uh, this way, sir. Captain Mannering, Mr. Wilson. Oh, thank you, Miss Baines. We have already met. Uh, come in, Mr. Mannering. Good Lord. Wilson, it is you. Yes, I, I'd have to agree with you there. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Miss Baines. Thank you. That'll be all. Yes, sir. What are you doing here, Wilson? At this branch? In this office? I mean, where's the manager? Well, actually, you're looking at him. You? You're the manager? Yes, that's right, yes. Standing in because of illness, I no, suppose. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been manager here for exactly a year today, as a matter of fact. Good Lord. Yes. Well, look, why don't you sit down before you fall down? <laughs> Thank you. It's awfully good to see you again. While I was at Bexhill, I heard you'd left Warmington on Sea and gone abroad. Yes, that's yes, right. What, what never made you decide to do that? Well, after you left, I began to realise that banking didn't mean quite the same for me anymore. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. I'm really quite touched. You no need to be. My decision had absolutely nothing to do with your leaving. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, good heavens, no. It was just that after having been in the front line of this country's defences, suddenly being just a bank manager again seemed rather tame somehow. Oh, I see. I decided to retire. Early, of course. Yes, of course, yes. yes. <laughs> I decided I wanted to try my hand at something different. So I went to Switzerland. Got a job over there. Not making those silly little clocks. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Make a pardon. Sorry. I was the chief scrutineer. Any cuckoo who didn't spring out was thrown out. <laughs> Why did you come back again? Uh, weren't you happy there? Oh, yes, I was. But Elizabeth didn't like the climate. She said the atmosphere went straight to her chest. Can't see why I bothered myself. <laughs> I know the Swiss air was supposed to be especially good for the chest. Yes, it is, but uh, Elizabeth's chest is a, a law unto itself. Yeah. Quite a problem. I, it's something I've never come up against. Been very lucky. <laughs> How long have you been back in England, then? Ten days. Not thinking you're settling down here in Frambourne, are you? It had crossed our minds. Oh. Elizabeth was born here, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, it is awfully good to see you again, and I'm sure you... You didn't come in just to have a chin wag. Well, hardly, no. Especially when I didn't even know you were here. Exactly, but so what can I do for you? Well, <clears throat> well gee, I find this rather embarrassing. Well, there's no need to, I assure you. Anything you tell me is in the strictest confidence. After all, I am a bank manager. Not to me, you know. <laughs> to me, you'll always be Sergeant Wilson. Ah, yes, but you must remember that time changes lots of things. Now, how can I help you, uh, Mr. Mannering, or perhaps as we went through so much together in the home guard days, I could call you by your first name. My first name? Yes, you know, George. I know what it is, thank you. <laughs> and you could call me Arthur. What do you say? Well, somehow I don't think that that would be very businesslike. And basically I'm here on business. So what can I do for you, <clears throat> Mr. Mannering? Well, it's like this, Wilson. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Wilson. Yes. <laughs> you see, I find... Oh, this is really embarrassing. The fact is, I find myself in need of a loan. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What a pity. <laughs> what do you mean, what a pity? Well, I'm afraid mine is a bit tight at the moment. Surely, in my case, you could, you could bend the rules a little. Arthur? <laughs> I suppose it might be possible. George. <laughs> I shall need to see some particulars, of course. Of course. Now, what sort of figure did you have in mind? I mean, uh, 500? 5,000. 5,000? Well, that's a lot of money. I know it is. But I have a very good reason for asking. Well, let's start by taking down a few details. Now, then, uh, purpose of loan. I want to buy a Framborn Pier. All right. Wants to buy Framborn... Now, just a minute. Did you say you're going to buy our pier? That's right. Good Lord, but it's closed, isn't it? I mean, it, it has been since the war. Precisely. And the middle bit's missing, isn't it? That's right. And you want to buy it? Exactly. Yes, but, but why? Wilson, hmm? 
Your local pier was built over 90 years ago by Eugenius Birch. Who? Eugenius Birch, one of the greatest pier designers ever. It's part of our heritage. And yet it's lying there, closed, rusting and rejected. Yes, I know, it's awfully sad, but... Uh... The council have lost interest in that pier, Wilson. They're planning to have it demolished. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> that all you can say? And part of your local heritage is about to disappear? Well, it's not my fault, is it? Partly, yeah. Uh... How do you make that out? <laughs> <coughs> because you, Wilson, are just like those people on the council. You are prepared to stand aside and let the bulldozers tear down that exciting, elegant structure which stands there, jutting out to sea, as a fine example of the brilliant engineering prowess of our forefathers. But look here, I, 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 I never said that. I'd like to think that the pier could be saved. That's a spirit. I knew I could rely on you. Just give me that loan, Wilson, and between us. You and I will put that pier back on its feet. Why, it could be the eighth wonder of the South Coast. Ah, look, Wilson. That must be the gate they meant. Don't you feel a tremendous excitement? I'm feeling a bit chilly, actually. We're going to step through that gate into a great new adventure. I think that might be a bit difficult. Nonsense. Follow me. Ah, it's locked. Yes, well, that's what I was going to say. There's an enormous padlock on it. You see? Yes, uh, all, all right, all right, all right. I know what a padlock looks like. I don't understand. They assured me at the town clerk's office that it would be open. All right, we'll just have to force it, that's all. Do you think that's wise? Oh, are you there? What's your game? Are you addressing me? Well, I'm not talking to the runny seagull. <laughs> this is council property you're defaming. It'll be my property soon. I'm Captain Mannering, and this is Mr. Wilson. Hello. It's a bit breezy, isn't it? What are you hanging about for? Open it up. Here, here, here. Hold on, hold on. The war's been over three years, mate. Don't you come the old soldier with me? <laughs> That's the trouble with people nowadays, Wilson. No discipline. I wouldn't say that exactly. They just don't recognise authority. I'm sure they would if they saw it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you two going to stand there napping all day? I've opened the gate for you. Believe me, Wilson. From the soundings I've taken, there's a huge public demand for the reopening of Frembourne's famous beer. Did you one blown up in the wall? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, Guthrie. Guthrie? You shan't be needing you anymore. <laughs> yes, you will. Because I'm in charge of this pier, I have to make sure you don't nick nothing. Don't nick nothing? <laughs> How dare you. Come on, Wilson. Just pretend he's not here. Well, that's not all that easy. He's got such an awfully loud voice. Mm. By the way, did you bring a tape measure? Yes, I did. Well sure, done. Well, what exactly are we going to measure? Oh, the various dimensions of the pier. Length, width, that sort of thing. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. What's the matter? You said you brought the tape. Well, yes, I have. It's just that it's not awfully long. How long is it? Five feet. <laughs> Five feet? The pier's nearly half a mile long. Yes, I know. It was the only one I could find, you see. I got it from, uh, from the neighbours, uh, from uh, Mrs. Pike's darling box. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. Mrs. Pike. Mm -hmm. You're still seeing her, then? Well, uh, yes, I pop in from time to time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to... Uh, See if she needs anything. Of course. Tell me, what happened to that idiot son of hers? Oh, you mean, you mean Frank? Oh, he's doing awfully well, actually. He left the bank. He's now an under manager at, at Woolworths. They must be hard up. <laughs> ah, we've come to the end. Well, thank goodness for that. Enthusiastic as ever. I mean, we've come to the end of this section of the pier. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, now, this is the bit that was blown up as a precaution against invasion. Ah, yes. Now, the question is, how do we get across? Well, you're surely not thinking of trying to get over to the other side. Ah, yes. Look, Wilson. Mm -hmm. There's a sort of rope bridge affair connecting the two sections. It looks awfully dangerous. Uh, you, you can't go over there. It's not allowed. That's only for the maintenance men. Would you mind your own business, Mr. Gumtree? <laughs> Guthrie. Right. Here it goes. Do you really think you ought to, Mr. Manning? I mean, it looks terribly flimsy. Oh, there's nothing to it. I've done far more difficult things on this old portion. Now then. Look, I keep telling you, you can't go over there. Nonsense. Let's put my feet into this bottom rope. That's it. Hold tightly onto the top ropes. Like so. Now, do be careful. Stop worrying, Wilson. Just watch exactly what I do, and then you can follow me over. <laughs> I don't think I'm really up to it. Of course you are. It's play. 
Now what? Lord, he's in! Silly old fool! Are you all right, Mr. Mannering? Of course I'm not all right! Well, hold on to the rope! What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, would he? he wouldn't listen, would he? <laughs> Nobody's used that rope bridge for months! It's, it's rotten, you know! Completely decimated! But he had to go and be a clever dick! Oh, oh. stop chatting, Wilson, and pull me up! Yes, all right! Uh, come on, Doctor, give me a hand! Oh, well, all right! Go on, then! Get... Eee! We're bringing you up uh, now. You can see that. Get on with it. Of course. <laughs> Not exactly a lightweight, is he? Nearly yeah, there. Right, uh, give me your hand, Mr. Mannering. There you are. Right. Uh, uh, Got you. Uh, Got you. Uh, Got you. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my oh, thank you, Wilson. Not at all, sir. Not at all. No. My pleasure. Why didn't you tell me those ropes are rotten, Gumtree? I told you before. The name's Guthrie. Is there anything else on the agenda, Percy? I mean, I've been coerced into playing golf with the mayor after lunch. <laughs> That's one of the penalties of being town clerk. And yeah. a lousy golfer. <laughs> uh, there's one thing, Charles. <laughs> that fellow's here to see us about buying the pier. Buying it? I thought we decided to pull it down. Yeah, well, you see, that was the plan. But when we discovered that uh, to have to demolish it would cost us in the region of £7,000, so... Do you remember we uh, put it up for sale some months back and then last week this chap got in touch and said he was interested? Good Lord. And who is this chap here, an eccentric millionaire? Uh, I don't know. I, I do think we should snap this offer up. There's bound to be objections from certain members of the council. Ah, that's why I've taken precautions of having the contract drawn up already. Present the objectors with a fait accompli. Good thinking, Percy. We can't let an opportunity like this slip. Eh, yeah, quite, quite. It makes you wonder, though. What sort of person would be daft enough to want to buy a broken down old pier? <laughs> Is he coming on this morning? Good Lord, nearly half past eleven. This really is too bad. Our appointment with the town clerk was at eleven o'clock. Yes, quiet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find the situation very amusing. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not laughing at that. What are you laughing well, I'm at? I'm sorry that I suddenly... <laughs> I suddenly thought of that yesterday afternoon when you fell in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the Go way, on. The way you stopped and squelched back down the pier. <laughs> then had to change into that fellow spare boy so that you could go home. <laughs> <laughs> you found that amusing. Yes, I did. Well, you know, I, 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 oh. no, of course not. No. <laughs> it was most unfortunate. Mr. Mainwaring. Mannering. Yeah. Oh well, I was near, wasn't I? Not very, no. <laughs> uh, the town clerk will see you now if you care to follow me. Right. Come on, Wilson. All right, coming. This way. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> this is it, Wilson. Yes. You got any last-minute thoughts? Only one. Really? What's that? I do wish you wouldn't call me Wilson the way you do. Why not? It's your name, isn't it? Yes, but uh, you're not the CEO now, and I'm no longer your sergeant. We're equals now. Equals? Well, yeah. <laughs> more than equals, really. I mean, I'm a bank manager, and you haven't even got a job. How dare you! <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, why don't you call me Arthur? Hmm? Oh, we will. <laughs> Seems a lot of fuss about nothing if you ask me. After all, what's in a name? <laughs> uh, come in, please. Mr. Mainwaring. Mannering. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Mannering. Good morning, Mr. Mannering. Actually, it's Captain Mannering. Oh, really? Which regiment? The Home Guard. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, hello, Arthur. Good morning, Charles. What are you doing here? Uh, that's really an awfully interesting question. He's my financial advisor. Oh, am I? Well, sit down, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, now, may I introduce Mr. Rawlings, who is the entertainment's manager? Hi, oh, Stephen. You're looking well. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Uh, how nice to see you. And Mr. Short, the borough treasurer. Ah, oh, yes, of course. How are you, Percy? How are your geraniums doing this year? Just, just, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do, Mr. Short? Well, now, according to your letter here, I understand that you wish to purchase our pier. Yes, that's right. We were rather surprised, to say the least. It's hardly a going concern. But it's by no means a lost cause. Uh, look, Mr. Uh, uh, Captain Manwick, Mannering, I think I ought to be honest with you. 
because at the time of the last General Purposes Committee we hadn't received any offers for the pier, it was unanimously decided to invite tenders for its demolition. It may have been allowed to deteriorate, but it was great once, and with planning and vision, it could be great again. It sticks out a mile. Half a mile, actually. What is it? <laughs> the pier, George, it sticks out half a mile. Oh, I see. Very droll. <laughs> All that pier needs is a man of foresight and imagination, a brilliant organiser and a leader of men. Well, possibly. But where would we find such a man? Right in front of you, gentlemen. But surely Mr. Wilson would be too busy at the bank. Not him. <laughs> me. Sell me that pier, gentlemen, and I will put it on the map. Uh, tell me, Captain Mannering, what sort of plans have you got for the pier? Ah, uh, yeah, oh, uh, well, uh, very extensive. Uh, could you be a little more expansive? Uh, <clears throat> yes, of course. Well, naturally, the first thing I do is to, uh, to put back the missing section. Yes, that would stop people falling in, you see. <laughs> They would run on border suits. <laughs> I beg your pardon. It's a private joke, Mr. Hunter. And not very funny. Oh, I see him. I would then refurbish everything and get the whole place back into working order. Have you got any plans for the Pier Theatre? Oh, yes, indeed. Very small, you know. I'll try and get hold of Arthur Askey for him. <laughs> oh, I don't like him. Can you hear me, Mother? <laughs> Sandy Powell. <laughs> Arthur asks his little chap and says, Hey, thank you. And does that B song? Oh, it's I don't know. What's going on? Come on, Arthur. I bet you knew it. Well, I I, I think it goes up in a minute. There's something like this. Uh, uh, buzz, 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 honeybee, honeybee, buzz, but buzz if you like, but don't don't sting me. Buzz, 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 honeybee, honeybee, buzz. <laughs> It'll be something like that. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, Arthur. Yes. <laughs> well, they might give you time to think. Yeah. Now, what else, Mr. Mannering? Well, a few coats of paint will do a lot of good, and I want to get the boat trips going again, you know? Around the lighthouse, that sort of thing. We haven't got a lighthouse. Yeah, well, if, we, if ever they build one, we'll be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, uh, I shall reinstate Madame Zara, gypsy fortune teller, providing I can find her. Well, that won't be difficult. She works for the council in forward planning. <laughs> in short, gentlemen, it is my intention to turn that pier into something which the people of Frambourne will be proud of. Well, I must say, Captain Mannering, you seem to have the necessary enthusiasm and drive... And you feel that you have the necessary powers of leadership for such a venture? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Arthur, I'm sure you can tell Mr. Hunter something about my powers of leadership. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. He's awfully good at telling other people what to do. <laughs> Being a captain in the Home Guard, that tested one's leadership. But you probably wouldn't know about that sort of thing. No, not really. I was away most of the war. Yeah. Living in Canada or some such place, no doubt. I stayed here in England... Guarding the beaches at Warmington on Sea. I was a colonel with Monty in the desert. Ah. <laughs> uh, different stretch of sand, that's all. <laughs> As the butter treasurer, I think I should perhaps be talking to you about finance. By all means, yes. Fire away. Yeah, you're aware of the purchase price? Five thousand pounds, I believe. That is correct. I've taken the liberty of writing the check already. Five thousand pounds... Pebble to the Fremborn County Council. Thank you, Captain Mary. A good example of your efficiency, I dare say. And for our part, we've already prepared the necessary papers transferring the ownership of the pier to yourself. Uh, if you could add your signature. Well, here it is. This is probably the most important signature of my life. Oh, dear. What's the matter? My pen seems to run out. <laughs> Arthur, let me all. Well, I'd rather not, if you don't mind. I, I don't like lending people my fountain pen. It makes the nib go all funny. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You should be proud. This is a momentous occasion. Oh, very well. Here you are. Thank you. And perhaps you would sign as witness, Arthur? All right. What are you waiting for? Well, my pen. You just put it in your pocket. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And on behalf of Framborn Council, Captain Mannering, may I say how glad we are that you've taken this pier off our hands. I'm... Uh, that... 
is taken on the pier, and may I offer you my hand to wish you every success with your new venture. Thank you very much. Right, then. Uh, what about a little tipple to cement the transaction? Good idea. What do you say, Mannering? Oh, yes, indeed. Why not? It's very kind of you. <laughs> well, Wilson, <laughs> Arthur, we made it. <laughs> Tremborn Pier is mine. All mine. Well, it'll be in 20 years when you've paid off the loan. <laughs> oh, don't worry. The bank will get his money back. Have I ever let you down? Well, I distinctly remember several... Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Here you are, gentlemen. Two dry sherry. Oh, how very oh, nice. Well. Perhaps on this so auspicious occasion we should toast the new owner of Framborn Pier. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's very yeah. civil of you. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, to Swallow's Bank. Yeah. How dare you, Wilson. <laughs> As you are now aware, it sticks out half a mile, starred Arthur Lowe as Captain Mannering and John Lemessure as Arthur Wilson. The characters of Mannering and Wilson were originally created by Jimmy Perry and David Croft. In loyal support were Josephine Tewson as Miss Baines, Timothy Bateson as Guthrie, Anthony Sharp as Charles Hunter, Dougie Brown as Stephen Rawlings, Sidney Bromley as Percy Short, and Hayden Ward as the man. It sticks out half a mile, a seaside saga of pure perpetuation, was written by Harold Snowden and Michael Knowles, and it was produced with loving care by Jonathan James Moore. Oh, what is the jolliest place to be? Oh, wouldn't you love to come with me? I'll say no more, but obviously it's the out of time.